So Deji came back with yet another video about KSI and PewDiePie thinks that Deji should get off the internet and Keemstar made, as PewDiePie would say, an oopsie. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I like to do is take different topics from the YouTube community and try to see what lessons we can pull from them to improve our own mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And if you're into cats, the most adorable cats you will ever see in your life, make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter at The Rewired Soul so you see pictures like this of my amazing cats, all right? <laughs> yeah, anyways, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I do love engaging with all of you and I post some cute pictures of my cats. But anyways, yeah, um, I've had quite a few requests to talk about the newest Deji video and my thoughts on it. And yeah, there's a few different things that I wanna talk about, so just, Quick TLDR for those of you who don't know, Deji and KSI, they've been going back and forth for months now, months and months and months. And something that we've all learned is to keep your private stuff off of YouTube, especially when you have millions and millions of followers. You know, um, the last thing was KSI responded to Deji, Deji said he was done with it. And like a week, two weeks passed and all of a sudden Deji came out with this new video. And in this video, it is, it is an absolute mess, all right? So anyways, let's talk about Keemstar first. So Keemstar on Drama Alert, he covered this and he ended up taking his video down. And I think for the first time ever, like that I've seen like Keemstar apologize for something he was saying about mental health. But I had to get this video out. I wanted to talk more about the video that I uploaded yesterday that I privatized. Now, the reason why I did that is because, well, I got a lot of negative feedback from you guys. A lot of you guys were upset about, I would say, a good 30, maybe even 40% of you were mad at me for yesterday's video. And a lot of you thought that I was making fun of mental health, which I was not. I was making fun of the people that use mental health as a shield to deflect blame. You know, we see it all the time here on YouTube. I was in a dark place. I was in a dark place. We see mental health being used as a way to get out of blame. And that's was that that was my joke. I literally said, "Hey, you guys know the rules of the internet. If you suffer from mental health, then you're not responsible for anything you do. I don't think it's my fault and I'm not sorry for the joke, but I am sorry for the basis of the joke. I messed up yesterday. So yeah, he ended up taking that video down and I watched that video that he did and like he just kept repeating it over and over and over about blaming mental health, blaming mental health, blaming mental health. So a few things from that situation when it comes to mental health, those of you who are new to my channel, like I'm very passionate about mental health. I like to uh, talk about it, bring awareness, decrease the stigma. So first off, the way Deji said it, I don't think it was in the way that Keemstar took it, right? Keemstar took it as, Deji saying like, you know, he's doing what he's doing because of his mental health. The way I perceived it is that Deji was really upset and saying this whole situation is affecting his mental health as it would affect anybody. It's like, just to explain like, Keemstar took his video down and made a brand new video because the reaction he got from his first video affected Keemstar's mental health. You see what I mean? Like, things affect our mental health on a daily basis. Maybe you're late to work, maybe you got a crappy text message or an email or whatever it is. All sorts of things uh, affect our mental health. So I don't think Deji was trying to use that as an excuse in the way Keemstar was saying it. Now, for like the rest of us, like this is something that we need to talk about. Like what, what I try to teach people and what I try to explain from my, my own um, situations and my mental health struggles is like, I don't want to use my mental health as an excuse, but I do like to give it as an explanation for certain things. Like, for example, I've been diagnosed with a generalized anxiety disorder. When my anxiety is really going, I get very like, just snappy and kind of crabby and things like that. And I've, I've made videos about this in, in the past, but I communicate that with my beautiful girlfriend, Tristan, or my son or whatever and say, listen, like just so you know, if I feel a little like irritable, it's not you, I just have stuff going on in my head. You know what I mean? And I'm not using it as an excuse, I'm using it as an excla explanation. So although I disagree with Keemstar 90% of the time when it comes to mental health subjects, like I will tell you this right now, if you are using your mental 
mental health as an excuse to be a dick, like, uh-uh, you need to cut that out. Like, like that, in my opinion, perpetuates the stigma. Like, that's why people don't want to empathize with people struggling with mental health issues, because like, oh, I just have a mental illness. Like, one of the reasons I started this channel originally and started talking about mental health so much is because I was so tired of reading articles of like, hey, I have a mental illness, you just gotta deal with it. Like, that is such a crappy way to do these things. You know what I mean? Like, we need to take responsibility and ownership for our mental health. We need to work on it. Like, having mental health issues does not give an excuse to run around being a dick to people, all right? So anyways, like, I just wanted to clarify my thoughts on that situation with Keemstar and what he was saying, but overall with like Keemstar, like although that's kind of his intention, I think, when he's saying like, don't use like mental health as an excuse, like Keemstar is <laughs> very, 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 <laughs> just not good when it comes to talking about mental health. And I've made videos about that in the past. All right, so next, PewDiePie in his new video, he covered the Deji and KSI story just briefly. He said he's done talking about it and everything, but he also said that Deji should get off YouTube for a while. Despite Deji's flaws, I do like him in a way. He's he has a lot, he he has some likable qualities, okay? I hate to see him like this. I think this has clearly gone too far. Deji, please take a break. You'll be fine. It's time to take a break from YouTube. This is it's not a good idea. I 1000% agree. I 1000% agree, right? Like, hey, it's one of the reasons I had to take a break a couple months ago. Like, I couldn't stop myself, right? I couldn't manage my emotions, things were going on, and I had to step away from YouTube for a little bit. But when I look at Deji, when I look at Deji, I see something that so many of us deal with, and it's, it's this lack of acceptance. It's trying to fight against the stream of life, right? Like he wants so bad, like he craves so bad for his brother, for KSI, to just admit that he was wrong, he was at fault, and everything was his fault. Like that's what Deji wants, right? But when we hold on to that anger, when we hold on to that resentment, and we expect that from another person, we are creating our own misery. Right, and that's what I see, right? Like obviously I don't know Deji, but when I see him like keep flaring up and making these videos going back and talking about it, I can feel the frustration that he has and he wants to tell his side of the story and explain things because he feels wrong, he feels hurt. He, he explained this in his video too. He said, my perception, how I feel. And here's the thing, here's what we all need to understand, like, just because we perceive it doesn't necessarily mean it's the reality. For example, when I'm in a really bad mood, if I'm in a terrible mood, like and somebody comes up and is like, hey Chris, how you doing? Like my mind be like, what'd you just say to me, right? Like just because I perceive it as them being a jerk to me doesn't mean that's the reality of it. And I think that's an issue that a lot of us have is that we try to justify how we feel. There comes a certain point, there comes a certain point where we have to pause we have to step back and say, okay, are my emotions, is my emotional response like justified for what happened? You know what I mean? Or is there a different angle? This is why I highly recommend you talk to other people, like you talk to your support group, because like there's been instances where I've had like a boss email me or somebody like message me and like I interpret it in an insane way. Like I can get a messed up mental filter, you know what I mean? And I have to show it to somebody else and say, hey, did you take this message or this email in the same way I did? And sometimes like a friend or family member is like, no, like, what are you talking about? Like, you're acting crazy right now. You know what I mean? Now, don't get me wrong. Like, Deji has been hurt in this situation, but like, one of the last things I wanna talk about is like, letting go. Like, letting go, like, how much time how much time do we waste? How much time do we let something rent space in our head that is over and done with from years ago? Like we're sitting in 2019 right now and we're witnessing Deji, you know, holding on to a resentment for something that happened in 2016. And it is just festering inside of him, you know? Like we have to work on forgiveness. We have to work on letting go. Like. What I try to teach people, something that I learned is, we often think, 
and this is mainly due to our pride and ego, we think that forgiveness is letting the other person off the hook. But what I've learned is forgiveness is letting ourselves off the hook, right? Like I was dragging around so many resentments towards people, like people who screwed with me when I was like younger in middle school, in high school, ex-girlfriends from like five, 10 years ago, all these things, right? All these things were renting space in my head. And finally, when I just forgave them in my mind and let go of that anger, like, ah, it felt so much better, okay? Because here's the thing. People might initially hurt us, but then us holding on to that grudge, we perpetuate our own misery, our own suffering. It is our choice whether or not we are going to let go and move forward, all right? Now, I understand that's a little bit more difficult with family members and things like that, and there's a, a whole nother video that could be made about boundaries and all that kind of good stuff, but I hope as you're watching this Deji KSI thing that keeps going back and forth, like you're looking at your own life and saying like, oh my God, do I act like that? Like, that's what I, I, I wonder. Like when I watch Deji, like having a breakdown on camera, like I'm sitting there, I'm like, do I still act like that in my life? Like, what do I need to do to not do these things? How do I let go? How do I forgive? How do I not be so impulsive and so emotional? You know what I mean? Like we have to be learning lessons from these things that we're watching go down here on the YouTube platform, all right? But let me know down in the comments below, like do you have a hard time, you know, letting go of things? Or if you wanna talk about, you know, the previous subject, like, do you ever use your mental health as an excuse to be a dick to people? Do you take responsibility? Do you take ownership? Let's have a conversation down below, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you'd like to become a patron, support what I'm doing here, click or tap on that Patreon icon right there, all right? Thanks again so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.